Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. And Big Boy Summer here bringing you episode 21 of Platinum Never Ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, let me address the first thing that kind of annoyed me. The first, okay. Now, I'm, I've let a lot of things go that would have usually annoyed me oh. in a normal anime. Like, I've lowered my standards, so, like, it's not as annoying. But Mariah said that after Yaneda's speech, the belief in God went down by 40%. 40 after one person's speech. Now, if anyone has grown up in a religious household or have religious family members or friends, one cannot just make a speech <laughs> and then just undermine their entire belief system, which is usually intertwined with their core values. Like, you can't do that for anyone's belief system or core values over one speech. And it's Yoneda, he's a, a professor. Like, it would have been more more believable if he was a rock star or a rapper or an actor rather than a flipping professor name one professor that everybody knows and not not just in japan that's a lie but world wide that is a lie if einstein came from the dead and then said to everyone oh by the way god's not real it's not going to drop the stats by 40 percent if einstein came from the dead people will believe in God more. <laughs> I don't know how one man's speech with backed with zero evidence. He doesn't even have a decent hypothesis to me. Like he's literally presented nothing. He hasn't even presented a good theory to me. And yet everyone has just said, oh, okay, yeah, okay. I don't believe in God. And this is across every religion and every country. So first of all, how did you even get these stats? Did every single person in the entire damn blood world Whoa. call up Marai and say, hey Marai, we no longer believe in God because we heard one speech. <laughs> Some places in the world don't even get like TV like that, but they suddenly also have heard about Yaneda and they were like, wow, Yaneda's so awesome. And anything that he bloody says is automatically true. Seriously, are you are you for real? So I like to bring up the Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah Witnesses believe that the world will end at some point and they've changed their mind six times, last count I think. Which is fine, that's their belief, they do them, whatever. There is no way that you're telling a Jehovah Witness nothing. <laughs> there is, look, look, these are the most stubbornest people I've come across in terms of religion. Now, that's what I'm saying, I've come across. They have proof on proof on proof on certain things, and yet you cannot sway them because it is so intertwined, as Ruka said, into their core beliefs and into their everyday. You've got people who are willing to shun family members that change their mind about religions and will still go to their temple, I think it's called. Same way, every week, four times a week and hand out and knock on doors. So there is no way your name is correct here and this is not possible. I'm sorry. And that's just the Jehovah Witnesses. I've not talked to you about the Mormons. I've not talked to you about the Greek Orthodox. I've not talked to you about the Russian Orthodox. Wait, 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 wait. I've not talked to you about Catholics. You don't, you don't even need to go that far. What about religious cults? Oh You're telling God. me one speech is going to change all of their minds and they're just going to say, yo, yeah, your name fam. We're with you on this one. Yeah, cheers for looking out. All these other people that have been telling me for centuries didn't get food to me, but you, fam, you're the one. <laughs> cheers, bro. I don't know where I would be without you. You enlightened me to the truth. This come is, off it, fam. This is come off too it. much. Too. I know you always come at me when I say that it's unrealistic because you're like, it's an anime. Oh, no, this is allowed. <laughs> but, like, this is just too much for me. Like, you really want me to believe this? I can't get past that. And that happened really early on in the episode, I think. You know, to be honest, when I'm watching it, I lose track of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't even know, but I feel like it was early on in the episode that this was said, and I'm just thinking that this is just, it's just too much. But Mariah did a Google search and obviously 10% in it. But Mariah said he wants to kill someone. Yay. Yay, finally some decision. Action. Yay. It just makes him a hypocrite. Oh no. Because when Metropolitan was actually threatening everyone with a biological weapon, he refused to make any movements 
Metropolitan Man actually also killed a bunch of other people that Mirai could have actually stopped it from happening had he moved, but he didn't. And even at the end, when he finally did hold him down, he still refused to actually kill him, and yet he wants to kill Yuneda for threatening someone's belief. It's a belief, so even if people stopped believing in God, they would still be alive. However, Metropolitan Man was actually ending lives. Okay, now I know that Yuneda has actually also done this, but as far as Mirai knows, he doesn't know this. He doesn't know that Yuneda's actually gone and killed a bunch of people, but he did know that for Metropolitan Man. So why is it that you can make a movement for someone's beliefs, but you can't actually make a move for someone's lives? Why is that more important? People that need a God. What about people that needed their lives? They're now dead? No, seriously. I can't argue, fam, because I agree with you. Look, 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 look. There's a lot of things going on in the world right now, which we're obviously not going to talk about. But it's so funny how it's going on in this particular place and people are switched on. But when it's going on in other particular places, people aren't switched on. It's just the way human beings are. They put stock into what's more familiar. And for some reason, Yoneda's threatening his belief has got more weight than Metropolitan Man threatening lives. But that's the thing though. I have had no indication that Mariah's a religious person. Zero. Or that he actually has a belief in God. So it doesn't even feel like he's fighting for his own beliefs either. His belief is people being happy in it. Okay, but those people that were murdered by Metropolitan Man would have been happy had they not lost their lives. No, I agree. So with you. <laughs> it's just like a big circle right. You're correct. where you just can't convince me. You're just correct. He's a hypocrite. Okay, cool. That's the anime we chose. You've enlightened me to the fact that this is as low as it gets, <laughs> and there's only up from here. <laughs> <laughs> How is there? No, I mean, in terms of the next anime we choose. <laughs> Because this one, look, okay, no one give Ruka a hard time about this is where you draw your line about reality. But this one takes the <laughs> cake, bro. Like, not even I can say this is where you drew, draw the line. Because as far as I'm concerned, the line was drawn before it started, and I can't believe I carried on watching this. Your is not an idiot. His theory could be true, his theory could not be true. But since we didn't get the scene about explaining the dark side of heaven, there's no way we're gonna know. I don't know if there was any kind of exploration into that because this anime has, like we've said before, picked a bunch of really big topics that you could make an anime out of on its own. However, it just doesn't explore anything. You even said last week it's like they just had post-it notes and they've just been saying them throughout the episodes, which is what's so frustrating because you can constantly see where the anime could be good, but then it just keeps stumbling like it's like stumbled its entire way through i think i stopped really being excited by like episode five but i still kept thinking you know it's still got a chance there, there's still ways that it can change because there's so many things that it keeps bringing up that could be exciting and could be interesting but then it just doesn't do it at all like it fails to explore anything and it fails to have an opinion like we were saying last week that we don't know what the anime's viewpoint is on any of these things. Nope. I don't know what it's trying to say. I don't know if I don't know if they believe in religion or not. I don't know what it wants to say. And I'm really sorry to the people who really like this anime and yeah. are listening to us um, <laughs> stamp on it week on week. But I'm just really failing to see where it can redeem itself. And now that we have now three episodes left, I just don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think anyone deserves to be God here. I don't think that any of them would do a good job. None of them have seriously thought about really anything that they've mentioned. Emo kid. Stop mentioning him. He's, his character doesn't even make sense as a whole. Like, why is your hero a professor? Okay, I, I know that he got a um, Nobel Prize and everything, but it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense that Yoneda can just chat to the president like this. For instance, he says he doesn't even like people. And yeah, we get that he won a Nobel Prize, but there's a bunch of people that have won a Nobel Prize. I can't just call the damn president and just be like, yo, president, do this for me. It just doesn't work like that. His personal line, you don't even have to speak to his secretary. You just go straight to his personal line. It's the president. It's Pro not Sam down the street. Prime Minister, but okay. The Prime Minister, <laughs> the President, the Queen, the King. It's a figure that is governing over an entire country and you're telling me that you've just got his direct line? 
Yo, Professor, what you did to that? Make a stadium. <laughs> will it will it go? Call forward? call off the shutters. Like I don't understand, man. It's like it fails everywhere. And I feel like the visuals are getting worse and worse and worse <laughs> as, as time goes on. Like the, their faces don't even look the same as they looked in the beginning. Like what the hell? A uh, quick note on what Ruki said about those who actually like this anime and are listening to us rip it apart every week. Um, I'd like to make a personal sorry to Afro Coco Puffs, who is one of the best cosplayers ever, period. Yeah, um, I get you like this, but yeah, that's where me and you can't, can't part on this. But everything else you do is great. How are you going to personally <laughs> shout one person out and single them out after just stamping all over the anime and saying, oh, I don't you like it, but you're wrong. <laughs> that's messed up. That's my job. <laughs> that's what I do here. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, another thing that really pissed me off about this episode. Oh, you used to go to high school with him. We'll bring you along so you can convince him. When you've known him for four minutes. <laughs> was it? Eight minutes and 38 seconds or something it stupid? Was less than that. He said, what did he say? Something like um, 30, 30 seconds, seconds on the stairs and four minutes, four minutes and 55 seconds. Yeah, it, was it was so, such a short amount of time, so, which I already called was BS, but. We called it ages ago. Well, we could call it ages ago. Look. Look, what was this conversation going to be? And when the re voice of reasoning was like, this could be a trap, <laughs> you just go, no, 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 I trust him. What? Oh my God, did that not piss you off, fam? That pissed me right off. Why would you trust it and think that you know someone when you've spoken to them two times and for such a small amount of time, telling us how he's caring and all this stuff, like you can't know that about someone. Sometimes in some cases, you can't even know that about someone when you've known them for a few years. You don't always have the correct idea of what someone is like. And you're a police officer. Shouldn't you know this? Like it's very bare minimum detective work, like, not hard. It's obvious that people hide who they are. And as someone who is a detective, you should have come across enough people that are hiding the truth and hiding the real things about them to know that you wouldn't know someone in four minutes or five minutes, whatever the hell the amount of time was. I know who the antagonist of this whole anime is. Everyone, because they're antagonizing me. Nase. <laughs> Nase saved me right. <laughs> Case closed, I've won, that's it. Nase is the antagonist of the whole anime. And this isn't an anime trying to explore nothing. It's an anime that is a, a spoof anime trying to laugh at the audience watching it. What do you like about this episode? What was good? What did you um, enjoy about the episode? I'm trying to break it up, fam, but okay, I'll indulge. Um, <laughs> 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 um, the fact that Mariah said, your Nada needs to die. That was the best thing I heard in this whole anime. It's the best thing I heard in 25 episodes, and I've only watched 21. So, let's go. Uh, you know, Metropoly Man's friend, whose name I can't ever remember, went to find his girl to express his feelings to her, which was cute. And it was a nice moment. They saw some shooting angels and made wishes. It was the least washed out as well in terms of visuals. We had some variation of colour, which was really surprising. Yaneda is trash, like the anime. <laughs> if you made it this far, we really, <laughs> really appreciate you. Don't worry, I'll carry on. Don't, Don't forget we... to like, subscribe and share. Peace. <laughs>